For the column packing operation, buffer is pumped through the top bed support under pressure. The pressure packs the slurry until a homogeneous resin bed is achieved. The operator begins the packing process by pumping buffer from the inlet connection at a defined pump rate or pressure value. Pressure is monitored by gauges along the fluid pathway, which continuously report values back to the control system. As pressure builds, the operator stops the packing procedure when a defined pressure is reached. On the HMI system, a preset maximum pressure threshold has been set in accordance with the pressure tolerance limit of the resin. Exceeding this value can result in damage to the resin beads. Therefore, the system stops pumping if the operator fails to halt the procedure below a defined packing pressure specification. The height of the resin bed is checked and the process may be repeated until a desired bed height is reached as per the SOP. To measure the efficiency of the column packing process, the column may be tested with the tracer substance. The operator connects the tracer substance, a 2% acetone solution in water, at the rear of the chromatography skid. This tracer is pumped onto the column and moves through the column as a band of liquid until it reaches the UV detection window. A 2% acetone solution in water is ideal for checking the packing efficiency of this type of ion exchange resin, as it absorbs strongly at the desired 280 nanometers UV detection wavelength, but does not bind to the surface of the resin beads as it passes through the column. The absorbance peak of the tracer substance will be analyzed in terms of two critical parameters, called the HETP value and the asymmetry factor. 